as you can probably tell by the title of this video, we are getting our COVID shots today. Wow! So freaking excited. So Georgia's governor, Brian Kemp, like opened up the qualifications for it. And those qualifications were expanded to include immunocompromised individuals. Which both of us are. Yes. So best believe we gonna go get that vaccine. <laughs> um, I have been, I mean, I know everybody's been waiting for this, but if you don't know, I used to work in an ER and everyone who still works in that ER already got their vaccine shot and actually got it on our honeymoon. And I put in, like I resigned like before our wedding. And I was like, oh crap, if I would have stuck, not stuck with it. I, it's not like I quit because I wanted to. Um, but if I would have stayed for a few more weeks, I would have already had my vaccine by now. And so I had to wait for it to come out to the public and then out to immunocompromised people. And here we are. I got an email from my nursing program that said that the eligibility was expanded and that Augusta like already opened up spots for it. So best believe <laughs> we are on our way. <laughs> a few moments later. Okay, so yeah, he can show you his. I, I, I am wearing a sweatshirt, so I, I, I really can't. But I'm so excited. We got, we got the first shot. Yay. Yay! So we got the Pfizer vaccine. I think that's how you pronounce it. Pfizer, yes. Yes. Um, and yeah, so we are going to have our second shot on April 3rd. Mm -hmm. And I'm so excited. Ah! Oh. We um, had to go through this like, we didn't, first of all, we didn't film because there were like a ton of people there. Yeah, there were a lot of people. Um, and I just wanted to. Privacy and HIPAA and. Yes, all that stuff. So <laughs> we just wanted to just skip the filming, but we will kind of explain how it happened. So first of all, as I explained earlier, there was that whole email. I just signed up online. You say what like category you fall under, at least in Georgia as of now, because we're still under categories. You say what category you fall under and then when you go there they um like look at your id make sure you are who you say you are and then since we are immunocompromised we had to go into like a separate line and talk with um like a doctor or a pharmacist or some sort of medical professional tell them what conditions you had and then they would either send you through to go get the vaccine or you had to like go to this like other yeah. section i don't know what they did there it was basically to make sure that the vaccine wouldn't cause any problems with you. Yeah, and I guess if you did have problems, you like had to go to a different section because there were some people in front of us that didn't get passed through to the vaccine and they just like stayed there and they were talking to somebody and they went to like another section of like closed off tents. So like, I don't know if they have to like stay longer because we had to stay 15 minutes afterwards. Yeah, they may so have to stay, like, maybe they stay afterwards. longer or maybe I, I don't know if anybody knows like let us know down below I'm actually really curious but our conditions they said that they didn't have any concerns so far based on the evidence that there was any problems with any of our conditions yeah. I'm doing a really bad angle right now that's better anyways okay so they said that there wasn't like any problems so yeah. we went through to our respective little tent areas i had a huge con he was already like waiting for me yeah, i had a huge I conversation for, her for like five minutes before she came out we were wearing our just married masks and so that sparked a conversation with the <laughs> nurse who gave me the shot and she was like oh did you have a micro wedding like what'd you do da, 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 da. so we like explained the whole thing and explained like we had a very safe wedding that is our air fryer going off we had a very safe wedding. No one, as far as we know, was infected. We like asked everybody, we made sure beforehand that everybody was safe and being honest about any exposure, whatever. But yay, I'm so happy that we have our first shot. It was like this surreal experience. And the lady that I talked to said that there were people like actually crying <laughs> about it. And I was like, yeah, no, I could cry right now. Like if you really get me in my mood and I don't realize like other people are here, yeah, I'll cry, I'll do it. Um, and this is coming from like a not social person too like i'm not even social i'm literally living my life normally like <laughs> this other than the masks really does not affect me <laughs> to be honest <laughs> like cory and i lying. yeah cory and i were dating when like covid first started and we were like we have to stay inside okay yeah cool <laughs> i'd rather 
Yeah, <laughs> cool, great. <laughs> so now we are going to make some left, or get. Hi, Ethan. <laughs> we are going to heat up some leftovers. We actually had, um, I don't want to say like my famous chicken Parmesan. I took a recipe off the it's internet and famous. like, and like, <laughs> I took a recipe off the famous. internet and like famous. twisted it. It's so good. He loves it. I love it. It's so good, but we are going to heat all that up. I had potatoes running in the air fryer for some French fries. We need to heat up the chicken Parmesan and we got peas. So let's go do that now. By the way, no symptoms? No Not feeling symptoms. anything? Are you feeling sore in your arm at all? I was starting to do it, but I just move your arm around, shake it around and y'all yeah. good. Yeah, this lighting is terrible, but um, yeah, my arm is sore, but I get that after every single like vaccine I've ever gotten. Yeah. And I have um, Sjogren's, which is like a muscle, like it, it's not a muscle thing, but it affects your muscles. So it's completely normal for me to have sore muscles. So yeah. anyways, food, woo, air fryer, all done. By the way, this drawer does not match it. Do you want to tell the story of the air fryer? I feel like we need some light in here. Tell the story of the air fryer. Our air fryer decided to die after two uses. So this whole machine is new because we had to get it replaced from our original one. And then this drawer is also new because the left drawer decided to die. So our only thing that's original is our first or our second drawer that is in here. In because there it needs currently. To be but um, yeah, for some reason they sent us the wrong color. And I'm not very happy about that, but also we already called them twice. And I'm not um, calling a third time unless it actually breaks. Yeah, if it breaks again, we'll definitely call. But like, it's working. It's just, she's special. She's she's just special, but she works. So it that's hasn't fine. Died yet. Hasn't died yet. Yes. <laughs> All right, we've got our chicken. Already ate the peas. You already ate your peas our fries and our little bon duo is also eating yeah always eats with us always 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 Alrighty, we are done eating i have to get going to work because i needed to leave a few minutes ago but I, it's okay because i give myself time to be there early but it is my last day of work Woo! before i go to my new job yeah but my new job is gonna be a lot less stressful it's gonna yeah. be great he had to leave because stressfulness yeah. stuff um i love that you're squatting to like yep. be in the frame i'm squatting and i'm still only like three <laughs> inches short i'm literally anyways. my butt is touching my heels anyways have a good <laughs> last day be mm -hmm. nice bye yeah. bye <laughs> Okay, so Corey has left for work and it's just me or me and my cat, I guess, here. And I need to get some stuff done, the first of which being meal planning. And usually Corey and I do meal planning together. We talk about it on this channel a lot. We love meal planning. And we are meal planning today. It's a Saturday, so that's a little weird. We usually meal plan on Sunday. But we were gonna make strawberry shortcake last night because we have a few leftover strawberries that we really need to eat. But then we figured out that we didn't have one of the ingredients. So we wanted to go today so that we could make it tonight or tomorrow. So we need to meal plan. Corey sent me a list of some of the meals that he wants next week and we'll just fill in the blanks. Hopefully he doesn't really uh, care <laughs> uh, what we have overall because I obviously have control of the thing right now. But basically all we do is write down the meals that we want throughout the week on this little thingy. Y'all have seen this before. If you haven't, I'll link some videos down below on how we meal plan. But yeah, we just fill this out. And we have our little completed list. I still need Corey to tell me what vegetables he wants with these two, but we basically have it all out. Cereal, waffle eggs, bacon, leftovers, whatever the heck we want. I scratch out the macros and we have our leftovers. Pretty much the same thing every single time. Hey y'all, this is probably really bad lighting. I, about two hours ago at 2 p.m., started feeling really, really cold and it's 70 degrees in the house. 
um, and I got really, really tired. Now, I can't say that this is from the vaccine, like 100%. I have chronic fatigue syndrome. I also have a thyroid disorder that makes me cold and tolerant, but it was also 70 degrees, and I just took a two-hour nap. Anyways, I don't know if it was a vaccine or not, but I feel completely fine now. Like, I feel a whole lot better, other than the fact that I had a really weird dream, but that's normal. <laughs> Anyways, I woke up, and look at this little nugget. He doesn't want me to film him. This little nugget just came on in here and cuddled. Yes, puppies. He normally doesn't cuddle this closely, um, unless I am sick or whatever. But I don't know. He could have just cut it up just because he wanted to. Yes, my sweet boy. <laughs> I just wanted to do a little update. Um, I am now feeling a ton better, and I'm probably just going to get some work done on my laptop. Corey should be home, or I guess should get off around 6, meaning that he should get home around 6.15. Um, but I don't really know. He says that the restaurant's crazy right now, which is really weird, but he'll get off when he gets off and then we are going to go grocery shopping, get some dinner. We're actually going to go out today because my mom gave us a coupon for a place that we were thinking about going when she came and visited, but we just didn't because we didn't know if it was good or not. But yeah, that's kind of the plan this evening. So I'm up. I'm feeling a lot better. Hopefully, even if it was a vaccine, it, it's done. I am uh, never gonna be able to leave. Like, I will never move from this spot again. I am uh, I am going to rot here. I, it's never gonna happen. Um, yeah. Okay, so Bonduel finally got up. Um, it, I, I felt kind of bad. I So I'm allergic to everything, including cats. And after him snuggling with me for the whole nap, I got really congested. And I sneezed and he ran away and that's how he woke up. But he got up. He's over there staring at... The little, we have inserts, um, little metal rods that keep the uh, couch slip cover on. And he, uh, he likes playing with them and digging for them and all that fun stuff. But anyways, I need to get some work done before Corey gets back. Um, if you don't know, I'm a freelance writer. I have an article that I have to get back to a client tonight. Um, and then just some other stuff. I have to work on my podcast. I have to work on my other YouTube channel, all that fun stuff. Saturday is kind of YouTube day around here since we both work kind of full. I think we're both full time. Yeah. Full time jobs on top of school and everything. So Saturday is just the day where all of the extraneous side hustle stuff goes. But anyways, I'm going to start working on that until Corey gets home. Oh, and by the way, after my nap, I feel a whole lot better. I'm not cold anymore. I'm obviously not tired. I mean, I slept. Um, I have little bags. Chronic fatigue syndrome is not a fun thing. But anyways, yeah, no, I feel a lot better. I don't know, again, if that was the vaccine or if that's my existing conditions because sometimes that'll just happen. Um, but no, I feel completely fine now. So even if it was the vaccine, we still good. We're still good. Hello. He's back. I am back from work <laughs> and changed back into my thick boy shirt. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he wears the shirt so often. My dad got it for him and now they can twin because my dad has the same shirt. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. But anyways, we wanted to first of all do a little like vaccine update on how we're feeling. Yes. And then second of all, we're going to go out to dinner. I know it's a Saturday. We're just changing things up today. We're going grocery shopping today. We're going out to eat today. It's a whole thing. We're going to go out to dinner and we're going to go grocery shopping. But first of all. Because we have a coupon. Yeah, coupon. How are you feeling? I feel perfectly fine. Yes. I literally just went to work for five and a half hours and I'm still perfectly fine. And your arm, any soreness or anything? My arm is a tiny bit sore, but like it's not even worse than the flu shot for how sore it is. All right. I, on the other hand. <laughs> Y'all saw my whole saga. I definitely am... 
I, I don't want to play like the I have worse conditions than you game because the chronic illness community is so freaking bad about oh I have it worse I don't want to say that but I have more I don't know I don't want to like she had more of a anybody. response to the vaccine. yeah I had more of a response to the vaccine because of my conditions being different than his we'll say that <laughs> um, anyways, I obviously, like, I talked a little bit about it, but I got really, really tired. I got, I guess, chills, I guess is what that was. She's also allergic to adhesive, and she left her Band-Aid on for way too long. Yeah. So her arm, like, stung. Yeah. Um, so I have a little bit of a rash on my arm. It's definitely from the adhesive. It's not from the vaccine. Yeah. It's from the adhesive. It's literally, like, the shape of the Band-Aid. Like, it is not the vaccine, I promise. Um, it's the shape of the band-aid. It's just a little red. I have very sensitive skin, again, allergic to adhesive. And then I got tired, got chills, and my arm is sore, but my arm being sore after a vaccine is completely normal. Yeah. Happens every single and time. she took a nap and now she's fine. Yeah, I feel completely fine after taking a nap. So maybe my body was just like, yo, you need to sleep. I'm fine. But anyways, let's get going. Woo! Hello. So. A lot of things went a little interessante. Yeah, so first of all, we <laughs> didn't go to Genghis Grill. Um, the reason being that the coupon that my mom gave me was for one specific meal that neither one of us wanted. Yeah. <laughs> Mon Duo just ran out of his litter box. Yeah. Anyways, so I we guess. just decided against that and we went to... Logan's Roadhouse. Logan's Roadhouse instead, because we already had our heart setting on. We wanted to try. Yes, if you saw a couple vlogs ago. We tried um, Texas Roadhouse. Yes. We wanted to try Logan's. Anyways, we uh, finished eating and went to Publix and got there like 40 minutes before we, they closed. I timed it. I timed it. We got done in 18 minutes. Wow. Yeah, I timed it while we, we were there. We planned out our entire shopping list that we put on A Word. And we put it into the Publix app where it tells you exactly what aisles everything is in. And we speed shopped all of our groceries. Oh, yeah. I was like, okay, this one, aisle five, go. I'll be on aisle six getting this. And we, like, <laughs> did, like, a whole operation. It was so cool. I loved it. Like, I wish our grocery shopping trips were always like that. But we got to the end, and the guy was literally, like, wiping down the conveyor belt. And I was like, oh. <laughs> and he was like, I was wiping you and i was like that's the like worst lie i've ever heard but like let's just do this but he was super super nice but we got right, everything we needed hilarious. for the week we're good <sighs> my arm still hurts and i just brought in a ton of groceries which does not help yeah my it's arm fine. actually is sore if i lift it like above like my shoulder if i lift it up like that yeah. it's sore but yeah. that's about it for yeah. me. Yeah, mine is perpetually sore, but that's normal. Like, it's not. <laughs> it's worth it Auto to not do the COVID. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Please don't join our club. Anyways. Okay, we're being weird. Um, We need to put stuff away. You need to do dishes. Yes. Yeah. All right. So, we have got it all stocked up, except the milk is what that hole is. I'm very intentional about our milk row, our juice row, and our like cream, like I have like creamer and buttermilk and heavy cream row. But yeah, it's all organized, like cheeses and vegetables and all that fun stuff. That's just the same. We still have bottles from our wedding. Good thing those last a long time. Our completed little sheet right here. We have our sodas and we got some Coors Light because we are gonna do a cheese fondue sometime this week so watch out for that video because you're probably going to do that video i tried it i am 21 by the way but i tried it and i'm not a beer person and i'm yeah i'm still not a beer person it's not like awful but i just feel like it like i'm just a wine person you know i think you are a wine person but anyways also our fit that, that popped off <laughs> our favorite um milk company came out with lactose free ice cream so the milk that we drink obviously like i just showed it to you this fair life milk right here we drink that because we are both a little uh lactose intolerant 
And they have ice cream now that is lactose free, less sugar, protein, which I definitely need. Um, I thought it was really good. You weren't like amazed by it, but cookie, it, I got cookies and cream instead of cookie dough because they don't have they have a cookie dough just not at Publix. And or not at our Publix. Cookies and cream dish isn't my favorite. Like, yeah, it, it was decent. Do you feel like it might have been better if it was I cookie dough? dough? Oh, definitely. Definitely. Okay. Yeah, I just got plain chocolate um, and I think it's really good. Like, I really like it. So I'm excited for that. Fairlife, sponsor us. I'm serious. Like, literally, like, this is our life. That's Fair what we life. do. Fair life. Also, cores. I'm sorry. Just not my thing. I also have chocolate on my hands now. That's attractive. <laughs> Anyways, we also have bread for our cheese fondue that we're going to do. We are going to do some sandwiches later in the week with our pork sausage that we got. And we got little hamburger buns for what was those for? The hamburgers that we're going to have? Hamburgers and sloppy joes. Woo! All right. And we're all stocked up in here. I think the only thing in here that we got was like the rice and rice the Bisquick. And the Bisquick yeah. And then we've got all of our candy that we're never gonna catch up on. There's got more potatoes. Yeah, yeah there's too much candy. Nothing new to this side? Nothing new to that side, no. All right, well. Oh, wait, no, at the bottom, green beans. Green beans and peas. peas. Woo! That is basically the uh, tour. By the way, all these sodas up here, those last us, like, what would you say, like three weeks, a three month? Weeks, yeah. yeah, like, what, I feel like in all of our shots, we have like a ton of soda up there. And like, when we're at the grocery store, Last we time like- We shot up there, we had one soda left. Okay, well, whatever. I just wanted to clarify, like we, we, we're we not like drinking those six times a day. Not that that's a problem. If you wanna do that, live your own life. But anyways, he's eating some buttermilk cookies that I made the other day. I told y'all I bake too much. I yeah. told you, this and this, we have cheesecake in the fridge, and we're making strawberry shortcake probably tomorrow night. It's because she doesn't want to wait. That's what the cake. shirt is for. Thick boy, you eat all of my baked goods. <laughs> Yay! I eat two cookies a day. Maybe. Yay! <laughs> I, I ain't eating fucking all that. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Hello. Hello. We are here to wrappy up the vloggy. Wrappy up the vloggy. Wrappy up the vloggy. <laughs> hey, fine duo. He just walked in the room. Um, yeah. We're both feeling completely fine. I'm a little stuffed up because pollen. And she has a vitamin D deficiency. Yes, Yay. I do. Confirmed by said doctor. Um, not fun, but they're starting me on like a super intense Super thing. high amount of vitamin D. Yeah, it's a little ridiculous, but anyways, hopefully it'll COVID help. COVID vaccine was fantastic. Yeah, we're gonna get our second dose on April third, and of course we'll we'll vlog that too. I feel like that's what I'm like not scared of because I want to get the vaccine, but like I don't I don't worried know, like, about the symptoms more. Yeah, because the first one kind of slapped her butt a little bit. Yeah. The second one's gonna like knock her over. <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs> no, but they say that the second one, you know, you would get like fatigue and generalized weakness and all that kind of stuff. And I already have chronic fatigue. So if I get more fatigue than I already am fatigued, like, so much fatigue. don't really know. <laughs> but at least I work from home as of now and I'll yes. be okay. I'm more worried about you if you have to go to work the next day or something. Yeah. Yeah. Right now, I am working Sundays now at my new job instead of Saturdays, so yeah. we're switching up date day a little bit, but, um, and we're getting it on a Saturday, so I might have to work the next day. I don't yeah. know yet. I tried to ask for the days off, and, uh, my boss said no. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> we are gonna stop the vlog here. We will see y'all next time. Don't forget to like, like comment, comment, subscribe, subscribe and, and say hi down in the, the comments, comments below. below, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.